think, yeah, we were both collecting since for a good few years and um, we met and started jamming, we played some gigs. We were acquiring so much stuff, but there was no shop in London at the time. Because often you can walk into a shop like this with one idea and walk away with another. Um, it's much more revealing than a YouTube video. We get a lot of, yeah, bigger kind of established <laughs> producers or like weird older acousticians say that don't know anything about music and don't have any intentions bar kind of collecting something as a hobby. A lot of the techno producers, um, I mean, Bodica, Mumdance, Tesla, Russell Hazel's here the other day, yeah. guys from Underworld. Placebo were supposed to come, but they never came. Tosai's good mates with Tom York now. Yeah, his producers were in getting a good bit of stuff from us. So. We reckon Afix Twin under a different name. He's, he's bought like loads of stuff from us. We sent a lot of stuff to Cornwall, yeah, to a different name, yeah. But we don't know who it is. So yeah, and I mean, a lot of them we wouldn't even know. They just come and go. And I think it's it's just so f much fun to play with this stuff, you know. Yeah. The, the software was great for a time, and a lot of people bought into it, myself included, but you start to miss having the hands on, I think. And it's definitely with the, the patching as well, you can almost feel what's happening with it. And it's quite educational as well from that point of view. Every synth is like a set architecture and you can't really change or move too far away from it. With this stuff, you can effectively break it apart and create and tailor the sound to how you want it, yeah. which is quite appealing and attractive to people. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, Make Noise have been very prominent. Everything they do is really nice. Olivier and Mutable Instruments in France, really popular and for good reason, it just sounds good. And then there's some new, weirder kind of Canadian company, Noise Engineering. His stuff is amazing, it's super fresh. He's not looking back on anything, he's making new things. Mannequins is amazing. Weird, weird everything about them. Uh, but sonically, they're very impressive. It's good though, it's all good stuff. The bad stuff just gets filtered out, so people up the game and they have to make sure that it is of a very high standard now because the competition is rife. There's like hundreds of manufacturers doing yeah. this stuff. Uh, like a DVD running from here into this video module and it breaks it apart into multiple colors and then feeds it back out but parts of the audio from the DVD are coming in and being delayed and distorted, and then that's fed back in on top of the video. So it's a real merging and something we don't really know that much about and we're only trying to figure it out. Video modular is a bit of a new topic, um, quite an exciting one, but I have no idea what's going on yet. I suppose this is my own gigging case. Uh, there's not very much plugged in at the moment, but it's mostly drums here, kind of distortions and filters, and then everything here is all the melody. But that's one of the new ones from Noise Engineering. This guy here, the acrylic, just a kick drum module. It's just weird sound. These are just a bunch of LFOs. So it can be a lot more than a kick. This is one of my favorite modules. You can just whack in the rhythm. And it just keeps playing it back. This is like the sort of main area for the computer and that if people coming in and just normally we just pop a few new bits in like this guy here, the Morpheus by Rossum. I think it's based on like an old emu Z plain filter or something. So any new bits might be popped into there. It's just because easy to access it really. This is a massive attack, so old uh, Buchla, I like getting that in. They wanted to sell it and we did ask a few people, but no, didn't really have any takers. So I thought, oh, can't let an opportunity like that go. I'll treat myself. <laughs> Little, you can kind of configure it exactly how you want. It's just a um, standalone system really with a um, sequencer and you've got like MIDI. This guy here would control a lot of what's going on here. Um, and you can just have endless fun with it really. 